Got a question for you. The distance between point A and point B in a car is usually measured in miles. So let's say point B is five miles from point A, okay? And for the sake of this example, it's a gas station. And I asked somebody, hey, how far down the road is the gas station? And they told me it was 316,800 inches, or it was uh, 26,400 feet. Or even worse, they told me it was 8.047 to the nth power millimeters. How would you react to something like that? You see, miles are used to measure vast distances. Feet, inches, millimeters are used to measure shorter distances. And one of the most common tools to do that is the tape measure. So today, we're gonna learn about how to read a tape measure like a pro. So hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the other side of the intro. Now this guy right here is what I call a ride or die tool. I mean, you gotta have one of these on your hip next to you like your best friend. This will never let you down if you take care of it and you keep it in good condition and you don't treat it like crap. Because when you need one of these and you don't have it, guess what? Nothing happens. Okay guys, so I pulled up a screenshot of a tape measure with the uh, smaller increments or measurements labeled. As you can see right here, the fractions, because some tape measures don't have these labeled at all. So if you're not familiar with a tape measure, you'll be pretty lost. So if you're just starting out with tape measures and you wanna know how to read one accurately, um, let's go over this to, so you can have a better understanding of what you're looking at when you are reading a tape measure. Now, the largest numbers on the tape measure are usually the inch markings. In this case, it's uh, two, and three so the distance between this mark and that mark is one inch and usually the increment marking or length of the mark is the longest so right here you have these long marks and that usually designates that it's an inch mark so there you have it two to three is one inch now obviously halfway between two and three is one half right so that's why you have one half here and the half inch mark is usually the second largest number on the tape measure and that's why you have it bigger right here then halfway between the inch mark and the half inch mark would be this area right here right that's 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 halfway between this and the half inch mark and that would be called the quarter mark or one quarter or one fourth then halfway between one fourth and the uh, inch mark would be this and that's one eighth halfway between the one quarter mark or the one fourth mark and the one half mark is three eighths so it's pretty simple if you break things down into halves now you may be asking yourself what about these down here that are not labeled how do I measure those? Well, if you use the same halving principle, halfway between the two inch mark and the eighth of an inch mark, which is this here, you have smack dab in the middle, the one sixteenth mark, okay? And as you can see, the lines get progressively smaller or shorter as you progress downwards in uh, measurements. And as we go along, halfway between the two inch mark and the one sixteenth mark is this area. And that would be the one thirty second mark. And that is the smallest increment on a tape measure, the thirty second markings. Okay guys, we just said the one thirty second increment is the smallest increment on the tape measure. And that's this right here. So let's call this one thirty second. Now, what we can do is we can use 1 32nd as the basis of every increment that you see on a tape measure. So for instance, this would be 1 32nd. This would be 2 32nd. Now what's 2 32nd? 2 32nd is 1 16th. And we just stated before that this is the 1 16th uh, mark right here. Then you have 3 32nds. 
and then you have 4 30 seconds. What's 4 30 seconds? 4 30 seconds is 1 eighth. Then you have 5 30 seconds. Then you have 6 30 seconds, which would be 3 sixteenths. Then you have 7 30 seconds. Then you have 8 30 seconds, which would be 1 fourth, right here. And then you have 9 30 seconds. And then you have 10 30 seconds. What's 10 30 seconds? 10 30 seconds is 5 sixteenths, and so on and so on. Okay guys, let's see what we've learned here. I put a small piece of plywood down and let's measure it and see what we come up with. Can anybody tell me what that is? I'm gonna get this camera as perpendicular as I can to the board and it looks like it lands right here on this increment right here. So we got 1 32nd, 2 32nd, which is 1 16th. 3 30 second, 4 30 second, which is 1 eighth. And then you have 5 30 seconds. So it looks like this small piece of board here is about seven inches, 5 30 seconds. Okay guys, if you noticed, I used a tape measure that did not have the increment markings on it, only the inch markings, because I want you guys to get familiar with using a tape measure without the markings, because you never know what tape measure you're gonna have or end up with. So you gotta have it in your head and that's the best way to go. Now that you guys are pretty much pros at using a tape measure, I wanted to give you guys a couple of more options out there when it comes to measuring distances in the field. Now these devices or tools right here are used quite frequently as well. Right here we have uh, two laser distance measures and then we have a measuring wheel. So let's see how these tools are used so you can have a general understanding of what's out there when it comes to measuring devices. Now, this is a measuring wheel. As you can see, it has a long handle that you can extend if necessary. There you go. And you twist to lock and then you simply push it along. Now, as you can see, it has a window to display how many feet or inches, which is right here in the white, uh, that you have traveled using the tool. So when you push it along, you see that the gauge records how many feet or inches you've traveled using the tool. Then when you're done, just simply hit the reset button and you can start from scratch. This one even has a built-in kickstand, so you can just stand it up let it go. Now this is a 25 foot measuring wheel as opposed to the 16 footer we just saw in the last clip, which had two wheels. So you do have options when it comes to measuring wheels. Now laser measuring devices are pretty simple to use. Uh, this one is battery operated. Um, yeah. And this one is powered by USB cable. I think you can see the uh, USB port right there. That's the battery port. You open that up and you can plug in your USB cable right here. It comes with a USB cable actually right here. Now, uh, I put up a piece of plywood right here to uh, act as a wall, a mock wall or a mock edge from which the laser uh, device has the reference point. And the question may arise, well, if the laser is leaving this portion of the tool, because as you see, these, that's where the laser uh, light itself you see it exit out of here, or you know, right here, and let's just say it's gonna hit that wall over there. You may be asking yourself, well, if it's leaving out of here, how does it account for this distance here, okay? Well, the way these tools are made is that the measurements are taken from the rear edge of the tool itself, so even if it's backed up against something, that's where the measurement is gonna be taken from, the rear edge of the tool. Okay, so we're gonna measure from this mock edge that I put up here with this piece of plywood to that wall here with these two devices and uh, see what we come up with. So let's get started and burning holes for that wall. Okay. 
So it took its measurements. On the uh, Bosch, we have four feet, seven inches, roundabouts, seven and five eighths. And if you press the button on the DeWalt, it should give us the measurement. We have four feet, we have 4.64 4 feet, which is about four feet, seven inches when you do the calculation. So these two are pretty much accurate and that's how you use a laser measuring device. Okay, you never wanna point one of these things in your eye or anybody else's eyes or even an animal's eyes uh, because it can do irreparable damage and you don't wanna have to deal with that. So I advise you to read all the instructions that come with these things because they can be pretty dangerous if you mishandle them. So I know these tools are great, but just for your own safety, don't take them for granted, okay? Okay guys, I appreciate you spending time with me today learning about tape measures and measuring wheels and laser devices. So if you learned something, hey, leave it in the comments. Or if you got something to teach the Caliber 8 audience, leave it in the comments as well. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.